Okay, y'all, um, if you don't mind, please bow your heads. Our most righteous Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you today. We want to thank you, Lord, for all the blessings you have given us. Lord, we ask you to be with those that are sick. Be with their loved ones, Lord. We ask you to be with the ones that has lost loved ones and dear friends. Lord, we ask that you take them into your heart and hold them and cradle them in your arms because they need your strength right now. Lord, I ask you to be with one of our brothers, Brother Rob Painless, as he laid a dear friend to rest today. Keep him and his family close to your heart and in, their, in your arms. Lord, keep his friend's family in your arms and in your heart. Lord, please be with Christie's, Christie and her sister. Lord, they, Christie's going through a rough time with her sister, as you know. Lord, please be with Jamie. She's been having a hard time dealing with things, too, and she needs you. Lord, I ask you to just please be with everybody. Be with our nation. Lord, our nation needs you. They've always needed you, but they need you more than ever now. <clears throat> we need you. Lord, we ask this in your name. Amen. Okay, y'all. Today, we're going to read chapter 13. And hopefully I can get to, through it without stumbling too bad. Genesis chapter 13. And Abram went up and out of Egypt, he and his wife, all that he had, and lot with him into the south. And Abram was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. And he went on his journeys from the south even to Bethel, and to the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and Hai. unto the place of the altar which he had made there at first. And there Abram called on the name of the Lord. And Lot also which went with him had flocks and herds and tents. And the land was not able to bear them, and that they might dwell together, for their substance was great, so they could not dwell there could not dwell together. And there was strife between the herdmen of Abram's cattle and the herdmen of Lot's cattle. And the Canaanite and the Perizzalite dwelled then in the land. And Abram said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between thy herdmen and thy herdmen, for we are brethren. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. If thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if thou depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted up his eyes, and beheld all the plain of the Jordan, that was well watered everywhere. Before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, thou comest into Zor. Then Lot chose him all the plain of the Jordan, and Lot journeyed east. 
and they separated themselves the one from the other. Abram dwelled in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelled in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tents toward Sodom. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. Now let's redo that one. But the men in Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. And the Lord said unto Abram, After that Lot was separated from him, Lift up thine eyes, and look from the place where thou art, northward and southward, and eastward and westward. And for all the land which thou seest to thee, I will give it unto thy seed forever. And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man can number it, number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also be numbered. Arise, walk through the land in the length of it, and in the breadth in the breadth of it, for I will give it unto thee. Then Abram removed his tent and came and dwelt in the plain Let's redo that one. Then Abram removed his tent and came into came and dwelt in the plain of Mamre which is in Hebron, and he built there an altar unto the Lord. I didn't screw up too many times on that one, I hope. I just get tongue-tied, my glasses aren't fitting right, and it's kind of making it hard to see. So anyway, tomorrow we're going to do chapter 14. So remember y'all, the world is a better place because y'all are in it. Please don't ever forget it. And I love y'all each and every one. Y'all take care. Bye.